let's look at question number 30. The highest power of 5 that divides 518 factorial is. So this is a very standard question and there is a shortcut involved in this question. And if you know that particular shortcut, it would probably take 5 to 10 seconds to solve this question. But what we'll do is we'll try to derive that uh, from the beginning. So let's say we have 5 factorial, we have 10 factorial, we have 15 factorial, and we have 25 factorial, and we have 125 factorial, and so on. So this is nothing but 5 dot 4 dot 3 dot 2 dot 1. This is nothing but 10 dot 9 dot 8 dot till 1. This is 15 dot 14 dot till 1. This is 25 dot 24 till 1. This is 125 dot 124 dot 123 till 1. We can see that uh, from in, in 5 factorial we have 1 power of 5. So maximum power of 5 in 5 till 5 factor 1 in 5 factorial is 5. Even if we go for 6 factorial the power of the highest power of 5 remains the same because 5 has occurred only one, one number of time. In case of 10 factorial we have 10 over here and we have a 5 over here. So we have two powers of five. But in case of 25 factorial, we can see that here two powers are there, five into five. And after that, we have one power each and after every jump of five. So basically it has five plus one additional power because of this 125. Similarly, in this one, this has, this individual number has three powers of five. And we'll get, we'll get numbers in between like 75, 50, 25, where we have two powers. So basically, we'll have to add those as well. It's not very linear. So till 24 factorial, it's linear basically. With every step of five, we are getting, we are adding one power of five. So basically till 24, we have four power of five. But from 25 factorial onwards, we get additional one. We get six, a jump of additional one. So how do we proceed that? So let's say in 518 factorial, we, divide, we first divided by five. In this one, we get 103 powers of five. But we do have numbers like 25, 50, 75 in between, which have two powers. We have considered one out of that in this 103. So we'll have to take those as well which we have missed out in numbers like 25, 75, 50, etc. So for that, we'll divide 518 factorial by 25. So we'll get 20 from here. Now again, we must have missed out the powers which were included in 125, 250, 375, etc. So we'll divide it by 125. So we'll get four from here. After that, we get 625, which itself is bigger than 518. So there's no point in calculating that. So total number of powers are 103 plus 20 plus four. So basically 127. C is the correct answer.